Hello, and thank you for watching today's session on the Career Center Overview as part of your Pi Spring training. My name is Megan Crow, and I serve as the liaison from the FSU Career Center to the Graduate School. In this capacity, I work with all graduate students on their career management and development. So whatever stage you are in the process, whether you are exploring where your degree can take you or whether you are moving forward on a path to a specific career, know that I am here as a resource. I do hold one-on-one -on -one virtual appointments, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays from 1 to 445. And you can find more information on how to sign up for these appointments as well as our services on our Career Center webpage. So I want to start with that resource. Right now, we do have all of our virtual services highlighted. So you can go to the FSU Career Center webpage and either go to our students virtual services or click on our virtual services banner. And here you will find all of our current uh, program services and resources highlighted for you. So specifically as graduate students, you would want to click here on the graduate student tab to find information for signing up for graduate career advising uh, appointments as well as other programs and events. As you are thinking about coordinating workshops for your courses or organizations that you're a part of, checking out our virtual workshops, job and internship resources, document reviews, which we'll dig into a little bit later, but also knowing that the Career Center has drop-in advising Monday through Friday, 9 to 4.30, and Tuesday evenings until 8 p.m. You are able to just drop into our Zoom room and get connected with a career advisor who you can talk about um, any of your career questions with. So make sure that you visit our webpage and just see all the different resources that we have for you and your students. One thing that I like to highlight for all graduate students is making sure that you take time to explore your options. So as you are thinking about your own professional development tracks, know that here at the FSU Career Center, we do have resources targeted and tailored specifically for graduate students. So we do have our graduate students tab on our webpage that I would encourage you to check out to see what resources and services that you may be interested in engaging with. We also have our Grad Professional Ready Badge. Um, so you may have seen or heard about our Professional Ready Program and it's something I encourage you to recommend to your students. But as a graduate student, know that there is a tailored version for you as you think about strengthening the skills and experiences that employers are seeking for both industry and academia positions. So you can go through the baseline badge to hit on components of exploring your career readiness, professional branding communication, making sure that your resumes and CVs are up to date, uh, modules on diversity and inclusion, as well as salary and job negotiations, and then it rounds out with a career portfolio. Once you complete the initial modules for the first badge, the tracks for our professional ready academia and professional ready industry uh, badges will open up for you as well. And I'm always happy to answer more one-on-one -on -one questions in a graduate career advising appointment. One resource I do like to emphasize as you are in that teaching role is the Career Center's Experience Recognition Program. So this is a way for you to gain recognition for experiences such as internships, whether those are paid or unpaid, leadership opportunities, research projects, international experiences, public performances, entrepreneurial activities, teaching experience. Um, and as part of this program, you can earn either transcript notation or a certificate. So as you are engaging with different experiential learning opportunities, such as serving as a teaching assistant, make sure that you explore this program to see if this is something that you want to add to your VITA. As you think ahead for preparing for your job search, uh, there's different steps that we recommend taking. So again, at the start and end of each semester, I recommend having your resume and CV reviewed by the Career Center to make sure that all of the opportunities you are engaging with are highlighted on these documents and go to speak to your skills and qualifications in different areas. 
We also recommend that you begin creating a portfolio to hold all the artifacts of your work. So this may be badges that you earn, certifications that you hold, um, samples of your teaching from your role as a teaching assistant. So making sure that you are collecting that as you go instead of trying to, at the end of an experience, collect it all together. We also recommend using the LinkedIn learning resource. So this may be something that you use with your students as well. So make sure you check out FSU LinkedIn learning to see how to connect to that resource um, and gain access to short tutorial videos on a variety of different skill sets. And then as you continue to enhance your public speaking and presentation skills, make sure you engage with our mock interview and big interview platforms to really work on defining those interviewing skills. But as you are all at your own unique stages of this process, and as you are looking for your next steps, you can always connect with your career liaison for more ideas on how to prepare. I also want to highlight our mentorship program. So if you are looking to connect with a mentor or serve as a mentor, Professional Mentors is definitely a platform that you will want to look into. You're able to look for short or long term mentors, filtering by topics um, or qualities that you're most interested in, connecting with the mentors of your choice and learning from the subject matter experts. So remembering that if you want to create a mentee profile to search for mentors of your own, you would just use your FSU student email address. And then if you're wanting to provide mentorship for undergraduate students who may be interested in your role as a graduate student or others who may be interested in the past work experiences that you've held, you're able to become a mentor just using a separate email from your student email address. Also, know that we do have different events throughout the year. So during the semester, make sure you look to see what different virtual career fairs are being offered, as well as workshops and info information sessions that we have a range of diversity chats that we're doing with our professional mentors. So make sure you go in and check the different events that we have at career.fsu.edu events, and you'll be able to find all those opportunities. Finally, as TAs and instructors, we want to highlight our Don't Cancel Class program. So if there's ever a class period where you are going to be unavailable, maybe you have a conference or a conference you're attending, or you're just not able to be in that class due to a prior conflict, you can invite the Career Center in to hold um, virtual customized career development workshops. So I've included a sample of some of those topics, such as writing resumes, jobs and internship search, applying to graduate school, interviewing. But you can find a full comprehensive list on our website by visiting career.fsu.edu and then under the faculty and staff tab, resources for you. So know if you're going to be out, you can have the Career Center come in to cover your class and provide career development workshops. Finally, the Career Center can provide virtual document critiques for your class. So if you are teaching a development course or you think that having your students have a uh, resume statement, a personal statement or cover letter critiqued would be a benefit to your students, you can connect with the Career Center or the Career Liaison for the college that your course falls under um, to work with and partner with us to add this assignment to your class. So we ask that you notify us of the class assignment, asking your students to register for our virtual critique, and then the students will be able to share with you proof of a completed digital critique um, as that includes both written feedback um, and tips for improving their document as well as resources to continue enhancing their application documents. So know that you can connect with us um, here at the Career Center for your class, as well as your own career development. Again, my name is Megan Crow, and I am happy to serve as a resource for you in your career development. I will go back here real quickly to my contact information slide. Feel free to connect with me via email um, or by signing up for a graduate career advising appointment. 
I hope you have a wonderful training experience. And as you have any questions about the Career Center, please feel free to reach out and connect.